channel it's me naturally Mimi and today I will be doing a get ready for work like a get ready with me get ready to go to work talking about some stuff you know giving my input on things and how I feel about stuff so I'm just gonna be sitting here putting some curls in my hair I got about <clears throat> I got a little bit before it's time for me to go to work so yeah, so I'm gonna sit here and curl my hair. I don't know what else to say to y'all, but I don't know how this chit chat finna go. Um, I gotta do my eyebrows, so that's what I'm about to do right now. Share a little bit of my intermost thoughts. Well, how are y'all doing? And what are y'all plans for the weekend? I don't really got no plans. Um, well, I do have some plans. I got to work. Um, yeah, I got to go to work. I worked this weekend. Um, got to go get my car serviced at the same time. All while trying to fit in, going to get my son a haircut because he really needs it. And I got to work late today. I don't know what time the, um, the barbers leave, but... I really need him to have a haircut. So yeah, what are y'all plans for the weekend? I talk all over the place, y'all. I don't know. I ain't been diagnosed, but I think I have like a trace of ADHD or ADD. Like I'm, I haven't been diagnosed, but I talk all over the place. And sometimes it's just kind of hard to keep up with me and my mind races a lot and it just be different things so like because i love to talk and my mind just be all over the place this vlogmas is not for it's not for the week because you have to be on your p's and q's you have to really like have all of this stuff planned out like i should have been batching content like, I do have content that I did batch. Like, um, there was a time, like, when I went to the dentist. I vlogged me going to the dentist when I got my wisdom teeth extracted. Um, I vlogged that. I vlogged my birthday. I never put it out because y'all know, you know, a lot transpired and a lot was going on. During that time, it was coming up on the anniversary of my husband's death. And so, I just wasn't feeling it. So, I didn't put it out. Because it wasn't a happy birthday. If you know what I mean. If you've been here and you've watched previous vlogs, you wouldn't know why. So, if you aren't caught up, go ahead and get caught up. Go back and look at those vlogs. I just wanted to come and chat real quick while I'm getting ready to go to work. Because I don't have anything to post for today. So I'm just going to sit here and talk and let y'all in on some of my innermost thoughts. And y'all can come back and come in, you know, what you're thinking about too. Um... But yeah, and let me know your weekend plans. Whatever questions I ask, you know, just return a favor and ask them in the comments below. I am so proud of myself thus far, like with Vlogmas, like um, I am happy about the um, feedback that I am getting on a good circle of friends around me, you know, that are keeping me encouraged and you know, telling me that I'm doing a good job because I be my own biggest critic a lot of times. Um, and I be having a lot of self-doubt and I've, you know, just just a whole lot of hop, a whole lot, a lot of or whatever. And, you know, a lot of times I be putting myself down. Like, I be my own biggest critic. Like, I sit there and I pick me apart and my mama <laughs> tell me that all the time and she's like you always just picking yourself apart and finding point out every little thing everything doesn't have to be perfect and I am just a perfectionist when it comes to like certain things 
Um, so on my agenda for the weekend, I have to work Saturday. Bummer. Have to work late today. And I really want to go and get my son a haircut. He really needs it. And this is when the thing of being a single mother is hard because you got to navigate and <laughs> figure out a way to get things done. I really wish my mama was up to taking him to get the haircut today because we have plans on Saturday. We were invited out to dinner with and I want him to have a haircut for when we go over there. You know, just getting out the house. I want him to look nice. Even though he's so handsome, he looks nice anyway. So, <laughs> he's a handsome, a handsome, handsome son. Uh, but he, I want to enhance that handsomeness with getting him a haircut. So, but yeah, I, um... I gotta try to find a way to fit that in my time. On top of, I have to get my car service. Um, I just called yesterday when I told y'all in the first vlog that I had to get my car service. It keeps beeping every time I get in the car for me to go ahead and get service. So I gotta go ahead and get that service. So that's what I'll be doing this weekend too. And yeah, so let's just get into it. How's life, y'all? How's everything going for y'all life for me um i just been thinking about a lot of stuff hear me and hear me out well okay i'm 32 years old right i'm at this awkward point in my life like i feel like i should have it all together like yeah i'm old enough to have it all together but i don't got it all together if that makes any sense like it's so much that I want to do in life and I feel like time is ticking before I get older and it's so much that I want to do and I want to achieve and it feels like I'm starting all over again like I'm back in my 20s like I'm still learning a lot you know I'm 32 I'll be feeling like certain things that I certain things that I should know I don't know and I'm just so behind I feel like I'm behind I feel like I'm behind on a lot of stuff and I don't know so unaccomplished I, I don't know the directions that I want to go. I do know the directions that I want to go in. That's why this year I am doing me a vision board of things that I want to achieve in life. Like one of the biggest things is I just want some, I just want better financial stability. Um, financial stability without losing it's like a give or take like you want that financial stability so you know that you're good your your family's good your son my son or your kids are good but at the same time you want to provide the world to them like i'm just so in an awkward space like before i'm 40 <laughs> before i'm 40 i want to at least be trying or getting into the process of buying my own home owning my car full out but i think i i'm speaking into existence i own my car full out before 2024 i'm just put it to you like that um but i just want to i just want to be good but yeah there's a subject that came up to me at one point in time about finding love again or loving or loving again or whatever um crazy thing is um i've been asked this question a few times and it was times people asked me you know about it i didn't really know how to answer because what is the right answer and i don't i rather you know tell you the truth and tell you 
you know, a lot about how I feel about it. Because I think when most people, when most people, you know, when they ask a widow or a widower, you expect them to say, no, they'll never love again. And, um, they'll never love again. And, you know, the dramatic, I won't call it dramatics, but, you know, the typical, you know, because that person was the love of that person's life, but in reality, we know that's not reality. We know that's not reality unless you are like super old. But there are people who are like super elderly and they find love again, you know, find love again. But, you know, people have asked me that question and I answer it. I, I would answer it honestly. Yes. I would love to love again. I would love to be in love again and try it again. But people expect you to say no. Me and my husband, we were like, we were best friends, still are the best of friends. Like I told y'all, we, I don't know if I told y'all, but in my dreams, we uh, have conversations. He is the love of my life. Nothing would never change that. Nobody would ever change that if anybody or if anybody ever comes into my life they would have to just be accepting of that if that makes any sense you know they say take time to heal you know from it but in all honesty that's nothing that's gonna be always a, a open wound it's nothing that's never gonna close um you always gonna feel that hurt of losing somebody. I've been in love with my husband. It's like love at first sight. I've been in love with him since I was 12 years old when I was in middle school. <laughs> so since I was 12 years old, I was liking my husband. I had the biggest crush on him when we was in school. I don't know, it's just a whole different world when you are a widow, when you are a person that has lost a person, it feels like all eyes are on you, even though they may not be. It just feels like people are watching your every move and what move you're going to make. And the reason why I feel like that, because I've done it before. I've been that person. I've been that person. I know people who have lost their spouse this young and they have moved on or even a lot of people that weren't young and they moved on and got into another relationship that's why i said i am working on not judging people but they have moved on and got in a relationship because you expect for people we expect people to live forever but not knowing that no nobody is promised to you nobody is promised to you nobody is yours to keep um Nobody is yours to keep. They don't belong to you. Um, on papers, birth certificate, marriage certificate, it may say that they are yours, but everybody belongs to God. They all got to go back to God. So nobody is yours. That's your, um, it's temporary. It's temporary. That's the way I look at it. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's temporary. And I'm learning that nobody belongs to you. Nobody's yours. Nobody's yours. Um, it's God. I look at it as like God is loaning you that person until he's ready to call them back to him. He's, you know, the original owner. So, I don't know. Like I told y'all, I jump all over the place when I'm talking. But yes, um, my honest is I would like to love I would like to give love but like I was talking to my sis over there like we were in the comments talking and I told her because I was thinking I was like you know you know you right it's nothing out here I'm not I'm not dating <laughs> whatever I even cracked the joke about you know God himself would have to sit down next to me and tell me that this here is the next love of your life that's what I say. I say God would have to sit down and tell me that. But not knowing, like thinking that this is, you know, 
thinking thinking about it, I started thinking about it. It's a lot that I want in life. Like I was saying earlier, I do want a daughter. In order to have a daughter, I would like to have that family dynamic again. Because I so much enjoyed that. But that is one of my goals, too, before I get too old. Like, I feel like I'm old, but I'm not old. 30s is just that awkward space. And that's just one of my really, like, biggest heart's desires is to have a mini me, you know? Even though my son is my mini me, everybody say he looks just like me, but I look like, he looks like his dad. And he would like a sibling, but he doesn't, his mind doesn't wrap around how it would have to be to get a sibling. And that's another thing. My son is almost a teenager. So it's, this is just all an awkward space that I'm in and how I'm feeling. And um, me and my husband, me and my husband, we had, believe it or not, we had a discussion like some months before. I don't even think it was some months before, but it was like a month or two before, you know, he did and we was just talking we was really just talking about how we want wanted our our funeral arrangements to be you know because people don't talk about those things but he always talked it he always talked about those things like um he's the reason why my son did deal with his passing the, as good as he did, like, he prepared me and him, in a sense. Like, we didn't know it was going to happen. We weren't expecting it to happen, but he prepared him and he prepared me, in a sense. But we had conversations about how we wanted things to go, He, you know, and how we felt about if the... how we felt about each other moving on, and... Even before, like years ago, he always had said that life is not meant to live alone. And somebody being single for the rest of their life, I mean, like, it can happen. But he was in tune with reality. He was a realist. He was like, he knows this not, you know, going to happen. And I said that. I said that to him as well the same way I said whenever you're up to it you if it's me first if you're ever up to it go ahead because I've seen videos of women saying that if they pass away before their husband he better not uh get another wife and that is to me I feel like that is so it's selfish and I told my husband if it were me, take your time. You grieve the way you want to grieve and you move on when you're ready to, whether that's in the next six months, a year, because I'm not coming back. And he said he felt the same. It makes me feel better about wanting to, but have I, am I, am I looking? No, I'm not looking. Um, companionship, yep, yeah, that's basically it. Nothing less, nothing more. I, um, and that's all I'm looking for right now. I before before I date anybody, I just want to I want to be all the way together, and I still don't feel like I'm all the way together myself. I don't want to come into anything broken and not all the way fixed because my belief is God won't. He's not going to send me anybody that's broken because that's my prayer. But I just want to work on my life as a whole before before I start dating. Like dating or putting myself out there to be in a relationship. And I know everything is not going to be fairy tale and um fairy tale and you know like how they make it in the fairy tales or whatever but yeah that's just my thoughts on it that's just how I feel what's y'all thoughts on it cause it was another widow that I was watching she made a lot of 
sense saying this, but uh, let me know if you agree in the comments. She said that, you know, just because cause she was getting married again, and I think it was like less than a year or like at a year that she was getting, um, let me check the time. Right? Hey, I'm gonna, I gotta be ready to go to work. But she was at a year and she was already engaged and about to get remarried. And she said that she was like, um, people feel like if you get into another relationship, you don't love your deceased spouse anymore. And I wholeheartedly understand that's not true. And she made this analogy like, if you have one child and you bring another child home, are you gonna love that child, that other child any less? And I thought about it and I'm like, that's a good analogy. No, you wouldn't love that other child any less. In fact, you would learn, let me see how to put this. You would learn to love a person better not saying that you didn't love that person good, but you would learn from you learned from the things that you took from that other relationship or marriage or whatever, and you learn from it. You learn to better cherish your people. Not to say that you didn't cherish, but you'll learn to cherish your your new spouse person. You learn to love them in a different way. But that analogy it made a lot of sense to me. If I had somebody else, I wouldn't love him any less. Because anybody that knew me, anybody that uh, was around me, yeah, a blind man could see and a man with no hands could feel the love that I had for this man. People knew the love that I had for him and the love that he had for me. And that won't ever change. And anybody that comes into my life is going to have to respect that but yes that's my thoughts on that like that's i don't like this y'all i feel like i don't know but that's my thoughts on that and you know and just being on guard but too because people look at you as like an opportunity they see you as a widow people see you as like vulnerable or you're desperate and not so much desperate, just vulnerable, vulnerable, and they feel like they can play with you. That's one reason as to why I'm not ready to date or be in love <laughs> because I don't want nobody playing with me. Because if you play with me, I'm going to jail. My love for somebody would be a whole lot different. I would, my love would be a lot stronger. Not to the point where it's overbearing and I'm hovering you and I'm holding on to you. I look at stuff a lot different. And I'm just saying my love would be a lot different. And I don't want anybody to come into my life taking advantage of that and playing with me. Because I'm not playing about me. And looking at relationships, I have faith in God that God would send me when I'm ready would send me the right person but at the same time everybody these days is just so on like let me play this person before they play me um all the people want to be toxic with each other all this unhealthy stuff like i'm not going for it and that's why um that's why i say not right now in God's timing and I know in God's timing I will get the house I will have somebody that loves me for me and I will one day have my own little me and you know that's just what I want you know that's just the life that I want that was just a quick check y'all let me know in the comments your thoughts these are my innermost thoughts and just comment below how you feel how you feel <laughs> or not how you feel but what just comment below what you think um your thoughts on what was discussed here let's have a discussion meet me in the comments and i will talk to you all next time
night is cold 